BMW, pick me up. The cars of the future won't just drive themselves, they'll find their own parking spaces and pick you back up, all through commands on your smartwatch. I can uh, push this button here on the smartwatch um, to trigger a command over the internet to the car and the car will then um, navigate on its own. For a true hands-off experience, Audi rolled into CES with a self-driving car that drove from Silicon Valley to Las Vegas. But Mercedes' new concept car does away with the need for a driver completely. I'm technically sitting in the driver's seat. You can see the steering wheel behind me, but I'm facing the other way. That's because this car can drive itself. Besides rotating seats, the interior panels are covered in touch screens, and any navigation is done through eye movements and hand gestures. BMW and Volkswagen are also looking to add gesture control so drivers can adjust the volume or take or dismiss phone calls through hand motions. I can enhance the volume or put it down. I can shoot it away with a single swipe like that. Car makers are also turning to tech to improve safety. Volvo is working to prevent collisions between cyclists and cars with a system that sends proximity alerts to a rider's helmet and a Volvo driver to avoid a collision. And through this combination of the smartphone, the app, the helmet, the cloud and the car, we are able to exchange two-way communication. While drivers may not see some of these features for several years, it looks to be a fun ride. In Las Vegas, I'm Kara Suboy, CNET.com for CBS News.